Hi, it's uh, Antonio Proudly. I'm a police community support officer um, and I'm based here at St Anne's in Nottingham. Uh, more or less straight away uh, when I started. Um, there was a couple of people um, where I was based in the city um, that were out as gay. So I wasn't the sort of token lesbian in the room. So it fitted in quite well. It was good fortunate for me, yeah. Um, it was all fine. I've not had. A, it was really easy. I was thinking it was going to be awful, but everyone just was like, "Oh, okay," and just saw me as Antonia. So didn't matter at all. And the difference being out to me professionally, it hasn't really affected me at all. Um, fortunately, um, when I've gone for promotions and things, it's not even come into it at all. It just treated me like Antonia. My experience being LGBT in my current role, I've sometimes used it to my advantage in a way, like um, when we've had pride festivals and things like that and engaging with the LGBT community, because I know some of them, they already trust me and accept me, but no, it's, it's been good. If I was giving advice uh, to my younger self, I'd say it really doesn't matter um, what sexuality you are, just be yourself, don't hide and pretend to be somebody that you're not because people will still they'll like you for you uh, and not your sexuality and it really don't matter and I wish I'd been more confident uh, earlier on in my life. I think role models are important, I didn't have any when I was younger um, so I sort of didn't come out until I was in my early 20s so I think they're so important sort of normalise being gay, that it is normal and it is acceptable. I'd love to say that I have some uh, people around me, but it's actually celebrities. Um, it's going to be Ellen DeGeneres, the US comedian, presenter, um, because I think she, had a, she came out um, a couple of decades ago and had an awful time and was treated really badly but she's persevered for and now I mean she was getting the, the Medal of Freedom from um, President Obama last week and things and she's so just a passion and everything and a, how kind she is and she's just I think she's brilliant for fighting so she yeah she's my role model <laughs> I think when, um, so a positive thing when um, I was at work, and I'm, I'm out, everyone knows I am, and um, when I came to this station there was uh, some new recruits and one of those uh, was gay, but they were lying, they sort of pretended they had boyfriends and things and didn't admit it, um, and she they did, she did say to me, she went, thank you for being so out and confident because because you've come here, I've now been able to come out and be who I am, have a proper life and meet someone to thank you for coming. So I kind of thought, oh, I kind of, that was really flattering, I thought, as well. But um, as well, it's, I think, when I've been engaging with the community, I've had a few um, younger children that are struggling going through um, with the sexual identity and, and things, and they've been a really low crisis point, but I've been able to be empathetic um, and get on with them on a wavelength and things, so that's been, that's been a big help use that to my advantage definitely.